By the grace of God, I met Jesus in the year 1991. I'm here to testify what God did in my life through the ministry of our general superintendent and our Father in the Lord. In the month of June 1999, that was when I started feeling uh, that having uh, symptoms that were abnormal. That was when we were preparing for National Workers' Retreat. So, uh, little by little, the things started degenerating. And uh, I went to the first hospital in August 1999. From then, we would be one from one hospital to another hospital, including UNTH. In fact, when I got to UNTH, after the medical examination, they told me that they didn't find anything that I should go, that it would, it would not kill me. You know why? I have to leave. And from then onward, I started visiting one hospital to another hospital. Eventually, uh, life became miserable because at a point, it was as if I was useless, good only for lying down. To talk was problem. To hear was problem. To pray was pro to do anything. In fact, everything became a stressor to my body. So in the year 2007, the symptoms increased with electric shock. If I step, maybe on the ground, all my body will vibrate as it was electric shock. If I talk with a loud pitch, that's an electric shock. So that, that now goes straight, goes straight because of time. That move may push me to go back to UNTH. Eventually, they said it was stress that caused it, and they started giving me attention, but attention couldn't give any solution. Meanwhile, when I was asking them what was the cause, they said stress. It was from the drug they gave me. I came to understand that the name of the signal was called OCD, that is Obsessive Compulsive Disorder and the Stress Disorder. We were, because the drug they gave me was not responding, I have to give it up. Before I know what was happening in 2011, Robert, what happened, please. I became terribly sick in August 2011 at the point of day. But as the law would have it, in, on November, second week of it, I was lying down hopelessly, and our generous pretendant, sorry, I want to point it, before then, our former state overseer, Pastor Kande, made arrangements. Please, can you go, what's happened? When it's okay. The step, uh, as, as I was lying down, the generous pretendant came and sat near me and started praying. He prayed nearly three hours in that dream, and I started recovering that dream. When I woke up, I saw that recovery, and since then till now, I've not had any major uh, head break through, uh, breakdown. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for Jesus. Let's take the final testimony for tonight. But I want you to expect your own miracle because you are not going to be here in vain. The final testifier, please. Let's make it fast. And please go straight to the point. Please, let's be fast. Praise the Lord. My name is Aze Boniface. Gave my life to Christ September 1986. And since that time, the Lord has been good unto me. Sometime last year, I had a growth on my hand. Visible growth. My daughter will be telling me, Daddy, what is all this? I say, God is in control. On the 20th, that is Monday, when we had the Divine Connection Abuja program, Monday of it, Pastor mentioned it, that that growth is going. Brethren, I've seen miracle. I was just holding the hand. Under my hand, it was dissolving dissolving it was so wrong praise the lord i've shared it in my region and for misuse or region 
and it's good that I shared it today. Just believe God. I was in Enugu and the program was in Abuja. Wherever you are, the power of God will meet you. Put your hand together for Jesus. We invite Enugu Choir to minister, please. Jesus shines like so 
on me and turn on my light today. Oh, yeah. That gets swing open wide. I will sing redemption story of how he brought me from the other side. Hallelujah! I've been saved. I've been saved by Bye.